So we arrived to Funusfjella yesterday and during the night there has fallen a lot of new snow so we are just about to prepare ourselves and uh, head towards Flåtruvet. Here you have the legend himself ready to explore yeah, ready. new terrain. Ready? I'm ready, <laughs> I'm ready, <laughs> oh yeah. And here we have Amelie! Woohoo! Woohoo! On the never ending road towards Flåtruvet. On the left side you can see the electric lines and those are almost our only reference point where we are out kiting. As you can see there's not so much other things in the terrain, just flat plains as long as the eye can see. Frey, what's your goal for today? Uh, perhaps a background night look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're arriving to Flotruet. And there's a lot of space to park on. Finally back at Flatruet. It's been two years for me since last I was here. And as you can see, the views are just stunning. There are never ending planes of space to kite on. And uh, the wind isn't too strong right now. So hopefully it's gonna pick up. I'm gonna try start out with my core 12. And if the wind picks up, actually I'm gonna try also my new kite. It's a used fly surfer, an eight foil kite. So it will be the first time for me if it comes to that. Alright, so we arrived to the cabin and it's a really nice place except for some small issues as you can see Frey here fixing, but... I'm not fixing it, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, making, uh, making it clear that it's a stop in the, <laughs> in the shit there. Here we have Frey, ready to sleep. Yeah, and listen to the audio. <laughs> and downstairs we have the the cozy living room without the hallway. And now listen to the sound. So annoying. Right, day two. We have just fixed some good breakfast, and uh, outside the sun starts to come up. At the moment there's not too much wind on Flotrevet, so we're gonna have our breakfast and then we wait and see. There's not much wind today, so instead of kite surfing we will do some alpine skiing and uh, we'll see. Maybe the wind will pick up and then we go and try some snow kiting on Flotrevet in the afternoon. Here you can see Frey struggling going up with the lift. All right, Frey. Yeah, I made it up, I made it down. <laughs> that's so true. that's a success. That's true. That's... So, day number three. 
it's snowing and uh, that's not too good because uh, when it's a lot of wind and a lot of snow the side is bad so we decided to go alpine skiing today and hopefully we're gonna have a good session tomorrow yo Amelie what's up <laughs> it's cold it's cold <laughs> too much snow to be kite surfing then we go alpine skiing <laughs> Right, Anneli, no kite, but how does it feel? Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> Get some good, good rides down the slopes. Now we're just waiting, as usual, on Frey. <laughs> always, si always sinking the group. So Frey, what have you learned today so far? Woo! Right, so it's the last day and uh, before we're gonna leave we're gonna clean the cabin and then we pass through Flotrevet and see if there's some wind so we can have one last session before we go home. So we arrived to Flotrevet and as you can see the weather is just stunning. The sun is rising up and hopefully there's gonna be wind. So I'm about to pump my 17. Here we have Amelie. Woo Woo Last day, hopefully it's gonna be the best session of the, the, this trip. Uh, Loshio One behind me here having some kite courses as usual. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be so, so great. <laughs> Alright, so we finished our kite session and now we're gonna cook some food, some delicious pasta. Amelie seems excited. <laughs> Amelie did the walk of shame twice today. Twice! Twice. That's not bad. She was far, far away and the wind died. <laughs> that's, 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 that's hard. 